<laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Before I start, um, I've got my window open in front of me. I don't have a ring light yet. My window's open in front of me. It's humid, not sunny, but humid outside. So a lot of people are out in the gardens and got all the music on, making lots of noise, doing the gardening, etc. So I'm sorry, I can't control that. I can't tell everyone to shut up. <laughs> I wish I could. Anyway. <laughs> So it is a Saturday as well, so everyone's at home. So anyway, I thought I would do my July favourites today and show you how to rock this red lip wearing one of these. <laughs> so I'll get to that later on, but first of all, I wanted to show you my favourites throughout the month of July that I've been wearing. I've still been up to, <clears throat> up to the first... It is now the, oh, today, yes, yeah, sorry. No, up to the 28th, I was furloughed. I'm now on redundancy pay. So I'll talk about that in another upcoming video because um, there's a lot to talk about. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I've got redundancy pay coming at the end of this August and then who knows. But anyway, let's crack on and I will talk about that another time, as I said. So first of all, I wanted to go through some skincare I've been absolutely loving in um, July. So first of all, I want to talk about the Lancome Mousse Eclat. So it's a cleansing foam. Now, <coughs> I got this... Sorry, I keep coughing. I've got like a frog in my throat. I um, I got this in a free, as a freebie, a gift worth purchase, oh, at least a year ago, at least... And I, what I did, I got it, I came home, I threw it in the cupboard, I forgot about it. And I grabbed it out occasionally to take my makeup off, but I didn't really take it that seriously. I'd had the gel clap version of this and I loved the gel clap. So to me, the mousse clap I was like, oh, it's just a thinner version. However, in lockdown, so from April, I went into, um, onto furlough. So, for, and I've just been concentrating a lot on my skin. And this product is um, fantastic at removing makeup. It really is. So what I do, obviously, shake it up. I will get a bit out for you to show you. So see, it comes out like a, a mousse. And then it turns into a cleansing foam. So it's quite um, sturdy. I have to get this off now. It's quite sturdy and it sticks to your face quite easily. So get a little bit of warm water and then what I do is I massage it through and then um, I've got little, um, see even that's trying to foam up with the uh, micellar cleanser. I want to just show you something actually, yeah. So yeah, um, so then you um, massage it through and I think it's finally coming off now. Yeah, massage it through, sorry. I use a cleansing sponge, which I said I'd show you, but I will show you next time, I promise. Little cleansing sponges, and look, it's removed quite a little bit of it. I didn't realise I had, because I usually put my uh, concealer when I'm getting ready on the back of my hand, and I've obviously rubbed the rest into my hand, and it's just cleaned it all off. So yeah, lovely product. Like I say, you foam it up, get a bit of warm water, extend it out onto your face, and then I get a little sponge and massage around and then cleanse off and get rid of all your makeup. So I'm chuffed with that. I mean, I would easily repurchase that. That's definitely been a great favourite of mine. So that's the first one. The second favourite. Oh, I've just lost one of my favourites. Oh, yeah, it's there. My second favourite is the Clarins Pure Scrub. So Clarins redone their uh, facial scrubs. I'll just get it out and show you. And I bought the Pure Scrub, which is more for oilier. I have quite a bit of an oily T-zone, especially in the summer. And um, <clears throat> I got a sample of that, which will go into my MTs video. I got a little sample um, and then <clears throat> I used it and I liked it that much. I'm so sorry about this coughing. I'll just get a drink. Sorry, one sec. Um, ah, yeah. I liked it that much. I bought the full size. So, it is a purifying scrub. And it contains... 
and also the little beads are biodegradable just so you know <clears throat> lava beads and they uh, what it does it tightens the pores in the skin well this it, this just cleanses all my pores out around my nose i know people are more into the acidic cleansers but i just don't find they get rid of the dirt out of my uh, pores they just really don't do it whereas this does so this one is definitely a favorite of mine and it was worth the money and you literally have to get like a tiny it's maybe a pea size amount and then massage it with a bit of warm water and then massage it into your problem areas so mine are all through my t-zone and just a little bit on the cheeks there where i get open pores and it does tighten your pores but it also cleanses them out third and one of my which I, a product is dirt cheap is um inky list retinol now this is great it's it's a non um it's a non-irritating retinol and it's formulated for normal skin um i just want to see what percent yeah it's one percent it's one percent retistar stabilized retinol compound and 0.5% gran active retinoid so it is a gentle retinoid it's not like the I'd say you know the clinical 1% um, ones you would get on prescription however it's really great it doesn't irritate your skin I find that it has been helping I had it on last night and it does help it has helped with my smoothing my skin out it's starting to work i only use it twice a week so in the last month and i did buy it a month ago um i'm starting to see results but obviously it's going to be a continual process and then i think i might just get the paula's choice one because that's got a good rating from nadine baggett baggett so yeah and then next up is one of my as you can see i've gone through a bit already and i've, I've used this this is um the vichy factor 30 it's an oil in water um some sometimes you know some protector it's the one that doesn't act, um give you extra color it's the one that you just spray it on and then it'll protect you against being burned you can buy a version of this that you spray on and it'll enhance your color but I don't, I don't want to use that. Now, this is Factor 30, which I find is quite apt for my, even though I've got pale skin. If I pull Factor 50 on, I just don't get any kind of colour whatsoever. So, Factor 30 works really well for me. Like I say, you have to shake it up. What I love about this liquid water is, so I'll, first of all, I'll tell you the full title. It is Vichy Capital Soleil Eau de Eau Soleil. Solar protective water with and it's got hyaluronic acid in this one i think there's a couple like i say a couple of other variants but i've got the one with hyaluronic acid it is hydrating as well so what i love about this and what happens to me frequently is if no one's in the house and i want to go in the garden and sunbathe how am i getting some protector on my back you know on the top part of my back i can get it around here the cream and I can, you know, around the bottom, but the actual top part of my back really burns badly. This is great because you can spray it, and it, it really does actually spray. And even though I can't rub it in, I know I'm protected because it, it's a, a fine mist, so it's not like running down your back. So you can do a fine mist, and then across here as well, so you don't need to rub in either. So, and it's just great for that if there's no one around because a cream, I don't know how you're ever going to. Unless you put something on a mitt and do that, you, you, you're you going to struggle, aren't you? So that is brilliant for that reason. And I got this on an offer. It's not that expensive anyway. I think it's only about, I think it's about £15. But I got it for about 10 on an offer. So it's always on offers, the Vichy stuff. So that is my skincare out the way for the month of July. I want to just go on to makeup now. And then I'll get into what I do here to be able to wear this colour and a face mask over it without no smudging. So anyway, first of all, all my Urban Decay Brow Finish, which I've got on today. It's great. It just sets your eyebrows in place without any crunchy feel whatsoever. 
it's a clear gel I think you might be able to get coloured versions of this but oh it was clear <laughs> I use it quite a bit I love this stuff well worth the money um I did use the Illamasqua one which was great as well however I met I tipped it over one day and it was lying on the side on the cupboard on the dresser and it all came out of the top whereas that one doesn't as you can see so I was a bit disappointed in the packaging for that but although it was still a great product I think this is about £16 and it's lasted ages so far so it's been worth the money another eye product which I think is just perfect I love it is the new Mad Eyes it's from Galan it's the Mad Eyes Mascara now I've never I think I tried the uh, Galan uh, Seals Donfer, which was their other mascara, and the wand was so it was so bendy, it it just didn't. It was not good. It, it didn't work for me. It didn't really lift my lashes. This one, however, sorry, it is a bit of a mess. This one, oh, it's stunning. I love the the gold packaging as well. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I got it in mad blue. But I am going to go and buy the black one. So that is the, uh, I'll just pull back, that is the brush. And it, I haven't actually got it on today, but I've wore it in my previous two videos. So check that out because my eyelashes look absolutely amazing in this. I've got a feeling it's waterproof. I'm, I'm not sure. It does. They don't advertise it as water, waterproof, but it did. It does take a bit of um, work to get it off. But once it's there, your eyelashes stand, stay in place. They don't clump. Oh, it's absolutely, I am absolutely in love with this product. And I'm going to say this is my product of the year so far. And I'm going to buy the black one. If there's a brown one, I'm going to buy it. Go, they're absolutely amazing. So really amazing. Um, Galan have really excelled themselves there. Next up. I'm going to talk about face makeup so the it's going to be what you've seen already but it is my favorite products of the of so far for July and in fact before July as well and that is the first of all the beige um, it is the cream healthy glow bronzing cream in it's a 390 Soleil Tan Bronze Universal. The new version, I love it. Don't care, it's got hydrate, hydrogenated veg, uh, coconut oil in it. I'm not bothered, it doesn't affect my skin. It really, and it doesn't clog my pores at all. In fact, it's non comedogenic, just to put it out there. I keep saying that, but I'm going to keep saying it. There's the lovely, it, it did used to have the gold C's on it, but because it's been moved into the Le Beige line, it's now got the beige C's. Um, I've been wearing this I mean I've got it on today as well it's just gorgeous you get full 30 grams of product which by bronzing standards is fantastic it's a lot of product it's probably the largest amount out there and there it is and then you can just blend it through it just gives a lovely all I mean you could use this all over your face and you know if you didn't want to put a lot of foundation on say you only needed to put foundation here you could then blend out the outer edges with this because it acts as a great to me it's not a, a strong bronzing cream it, it's what I use it for I put it down and then I put a bronzer over it and it sets that bronzer in place so and I now understand what they why they used to call it a universal makeup base because it 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 could it's great it would it would work for any skin tone if you're using it for that reason so but i do think now they've numbered it they'll probably bring out another uh, dark color i reckon and then my favorite <laughs> bronzer of 2020 and that is the chanel le beige healthy it is the healthy glow illuminating powder in sunset i absolutely love this and again i've got it on today so it's just really beautiful golden it's a lovely golden color i mean it's quite dark there obviously because it's in the pan you but if i can just show you see you just see there there that one 
it's lovely it really is when you get a big fluffy brush and put it on it's just it's got these very tiny tiny uh, bits of gold in it so when you put it on your cheeks and blend it out it just gives this gl glow a slight golden hint no shimmers whatsoever it just blends completely out it's absolutely as you can see it's you can't see any gold there it's absolutely beautiful my, my favorite by far i mean i've got the charlotte tilbury um matte bronzer in that beautiful packaging and i hardly reach for it i just hardly go for it at all i just don't know what it is there's nothing wrong with the product but because this one to me is a better product i turn to this one instead although i'm i'm finally going out for a night out next saturday so i might put my charlotte tilbury one on because it's a little bit darker <laughs> so next up again chanel again this one's the sand so this one offers oh i forgot to show you they've got the little rope design on there um this one offers it's like a it just offers a, a glow a lip from within this color so you probably won't really see it it is there but once you buff it out on your skin it just gives you a lovely healthy glow really in in the traditional way that le beige does you know le beige does that you know their original le beige was just an all over powder well you could use this one as an all over powder and that one comes in sand and i've been wearing that all month as well and then the pearly glow in the um liquid so this one is now the pearly glow in the um le beige it's a highlighting fluid so there gorgeous and then that one it comes with a little pump now um it's a different shade i mean i've got the sun kissed as well and if you can see it there it's nice uh, i've got that on my cheeks today as well so i'll just pop a bit more on so you can see i'm not wasting it too expensive to waste <laughs> and you can put this through your foundation if you want to give your skin a, a really good nice glow so if you can see if you want to give your skin a lovely glow pop, pop a tiny bit through your foundation um i've got a foundation that is matte it comes up matte and i hate it so <laughs> i put a bit of that through it and the, uh, the sun kissed as well if you want more of a bronzy effect and it just really brings it to life and then two more products i promise and this one sorry chanel again but i do love chanel so and it is the jue contrast powder blush in 440 quintessence or quintessence quintessence and i've got that on today as well and i've been wearing that and and i think because it's got a look it's the perfect so it come out when they were done a they done a pure matte line and the packaging as you can see is matte really nice nice little touch from chanel there and then that's the actual blush it look comes up pink in the viewfinder but however i would say it's the perfect peachy pink so you could wear it with red coral nude you could wear this with any color it's the perfect sort of color and i'd say that one would suit most skin tones as well it's really nice really lovely color so but it does come up a bit more pink but it is i promise you it's like a corally pink exactly the, that's what i would call it a corally pink and that one i've been wearing all month and i i generally wear chanel um blushes really to be honest they are my favorite and then last but certainly not least on the favorites front is something i bought when we first went into lockdown it there was the dior stella gloss the new glosses they've got out and i got it in 092 stella and it's absolutely stunning can you see that so it's um let me put it the right way up it's got this beautiful it's a pale pink and it's got this beautiful blue shift through it absolutely gorgeous love it i'm so glad i bought this and you probably there's probably no point in me putting it on my hand because you won't see how gorgeous it is it's when it's on your lips 
that it really really comes to life i'll probably once i've explained this i'll put a bit over and show you so that is my favorites for the month of july now i want to talk about the dreaded face masks so <laughs> um up until last friday we didn't other than public transport we didn't have to wear um, face masks at all now i got my own car so i never had to wear one however from last friday onwards they we now have to wear them to go just shopping or anywhere you know anywhere where you're in an enclosed space um pro mostly the shops so I, I think you're okay in bars and restaurants at the moment anyway um so I like to wear my makeup, as you can see, and I was thinking, how can I do my face and makeup and leave my lipstick bare? Lipstick, you know, my lips bare. That's just going to look ridiculous, and I'm not going out with no makeup on because I just don't do that. I love my, I love makeup. So first of all, I thought I tried a couple of lipsticks, and I just couldn't put the mask on over them. They were too emollient. You know, like the Fenty Beauty ones that slip shine. They're very buttery. But if you put a mask on, even though it's not touching directly onto the lips, the fact is you could pull it off and it's going to just smudge on your face. So a waxy emollient, emollient lipstick is just not going to work in, in on a face mask. I tried a balm that didn't work and it just didn't look right so you see I've got a red top on today you can imagine just a clear balm on my lips it just looked ridiculous and I'm, and then I've got these um, lip maximizers which are okay you know they're nice you can just about get away with that I think and that's a little bit of a pinky color however I thought today I I'm going on a retail park I'm not wearing my mask the whole time I'll probably pop it on and in a on and off in between shops you know because i do feel i noticed since i've been wearing a face mask i feel like my i can't not only i've got asthma so it restricts my breathing so i cough more i've noticed that and the other thing i get thirsty really quick so i went out today and I had to buy a bottle of lilt because well i never do that never i never have to buy a drink while i'm out i usually go out for a couple of hours I'm okay unless I'm going out and I'm meeting friends and I'm going for a quick coffee in Costa or you know wherever um but normally I don't need to if I'm out on my own I don't bother buying any stopping off at a cafe or anything I usually have my lunch before I go out or and a drink and I'm fine however I've had to buy a bottle of drink <laughs> today because uh you know it, my throat's just drying up so I thought, well, I'm wearing a red top today. I'm going out with a red lipstick on. I don't care. And I'm, and, you know, but obviously I needed to stay on my lips and red lipstick is notorious. I mean, I don't know whether you've ever done this, but I have. It's been windy and your know, hair's gone like that and it's literally left a, a little mark of red across your face. I've had, That's happened to me. So I thought, well, what? how else can I get? Just in case, you know, I'm, I've got my face mask on and then I pull it off and it just happens to thingy on my lip. And then it's going to just drag across there. So what I thought I would do, and I've got the perfect two products for this. First of all is my Rouge Dior. I'll just read it out. It's the Rouge Dior Ink Lip Liner. So this one is um, an ultra pigmented, long wearing contour felt pen liner gosh they get to your don't have or don't know if i have some titles so there is the product and i just i forgot the right yeah no it's not coming up the right anyway there's the product and it's a felt tip pen so and it it's like a lip stain so when you put it on hang on let's see that it's a nightmare to come out sometimes there we go see so when you put that on it sets down so I pop that around the outer lip like that and then so that product's fantastic this comes in many shades as well and I'm sure they still sell it I'm pretty 100% sure they still sell it so it's like I say and I think some other 
businesses do it as well. I don't think it's just Dior, but this is a really great one because once you line your lip, it sets and stays in place like a, a tattoo. It's like a tattoo lip liner. I'm sure Revlon or L'Oreal do something similar. So there's a good little handy hint for you if you need to, you want to wear lipstick. And then my other, <laughs> and I never thought I'd use this because I bought this one is the Chanel and this one is the, I think, powder in oil. So let me just read it. Yeah, Rouge Allure liquid powder. I've got 956. It doesn't say that it's just 956. And that is it. And it's a lovely, as you can see, beautiful red. It goes on deeper than that. So there it is. It's like a little, you sort of, and it's, it's got a little sponge on the end and this is pliable. So you press it and and it'll just add more colour to your lip. Now this doesn't truly set down completely. So I've just put some on so it won't be set at the moment. But if you see, it's not coming off easily at all. Let me get a... Uh, see? It's hardly coming off on my finger. So it's like it, like I say, it's an oil base with a powder in it. Gives you a stunning pigmented colour. So it goes with my top and it won't smudge. It really won't smudge. So I bought this one. I bought it um I bought this a couple of years ago and they still do them by the way. They do them in all shades, so don't worry, you don't just have to buy a red one. And it um the when I bought it I wore it a couple of times and then I thought I just thought it was a bit gimmicky I didn't see where where I'd really ever get to wear it because if I go out and, um, and wear a red lipstick it is a lipstick you know it really is a red lipstick and I thought well this is like a bit powdery it's a matte it's matte I'm not a big fan of matte I never thought in wearing masks this would be the dream product and it really is. So I fully recommend these. They do them in, in nude colours as well. So if you really do need or do want to go out and you're walking, you know, you want to go around the shops and you want to wear your makeup, there you go. That's your answer. And I mean, I'm, I'm not saying there's no other products out there. Just for me personally, I never thought I'd get to use this product or it would just be thrown in thrown in the drawer and I mean literally I've had it for about two years I've just threw it in the drawer and this is where it's come into its own so that is my recommendation for so a ta kind of tattoo lip liner with a powder in oil um, lip product it does go on matte now I did say I'd show you so say you've been out shopping you come home or you go into the bar and you want a few drinks but you don't really enjoy the matte color, the matte finish which I don't take your your thing your gloss pop it in your bag and pop it on your lips and you've got a beautiful see and it sort of brings it actually it brings it more to life the lip gloss doesn't it yeah and there you go so they're my recommendations for Ju July and for wearing a face mask. If you have any other ideas, pop them below. If you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe and take care and I will see you all next time.